Stephanie Wiedemann is a former Thornton Township employee fired by Henyard and now a whistleblower. She says Henyard's dual roles as mayor of Dalton and supervisor of the township, two separate government entities, are constantly being blurred. I have found, you know, bills that were made out to the village of Dalton that were paid with the Thornton Township check. It's hard to decipher what is township and what is Dalton because she, she blends them so carelessly. And it should be church and state. It sh absolutely should be. Wiedemann and others believe Henyard is using township funds because Dalton is broke, as much as $5 million in the red, in part, they say, because of massive spending by Henyard on out-of-town trips, her police security detail, endless lawsuits, and overuse of credit cards, all of which are now the subject of an ongoing FBI investigation at both the village and the township. You can't make this stuff up. Attorney Odelson says he wouldn't be surprised if the FBI is looking at Henyard's trip to Washington on the wrong taxpayer's dime. Is that a crime? Misappropriation of funds for personal use? Yes, it is a crime. And it's not that hard. If it's for Dalton, Dalton pays for it. If it's for Thornton Township, Thornton Township pays for it. We reached out to both Henyard and her top deputy, Keith Freeman, on whose Thornton Township credit card those charges appear. Neither have yet responded. All right, so, so Tiffany, right? She is in a whole, I don't know what's taking them so long. I don't know what's going on, but it's seeming we just, we're finding out more and more misuse of funds, like he's saying, for personal reasons that we ever did. It was like 100,000 on travel, almost 5,000, um, like every two months on hair. And just her hair and makeup um it was a lot of taxpayers dollars that spent on personal use and um that flight that she took to uh the city president it was out of the she paid the wrong she paid through the town through the township when it was actually you know supposed to have been deducted from the city of Dalton. so they're catching her in a whole bunch of contradictions on dealing with the money so i think it's just a matter of time before they definitely hit her with the charge but i don't i don't understand what the feds are doing it's clear to everybody else i guess they gotta make the case more closed shut but we're gonna see what tiffany here you got because right now it looks like you know they already got a replacement for they're expecting her to get charged so they're ready to move on so the problem is is that in this report they reported that the town could be just broke and that's why she was using not the town but dalton could be just have no money at all and that's why she was using the township money but this is a sad case if she bankrolled her own community where she claims she grew up from that'll be crazy That'd be crazy. But I wanna know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Do you think uh do you think Tiffany Henry can beat this? Is it a way that you think that she won't even get charged? No, 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 no Rico cases, no misuse of funds for personal use. I mean, it has to be obvious. I know the feds are looking at information and they're like, you know, which way do we want to go with this? But it's taking a long time, in my opinion, but I want to know what y'all think. Do y'all think this is just how the feds do business, or do you think uh, Tiffany time is coming? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Peace and love. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Make sure you get your free water test at Envirely.com. Here we got Mr. Pollock. He had a cornfield. He took advantage of a free water test from us. And this is what we found in this water. We found sulfur. We found hardness. And we solved these problems with an easy fix of two tanks. So get your free water test today. Stay blessed. Click the link below.